You're, you've not really been introduced to your mom's house properly until you've watched some of these videos. Ooh. And uh, this one video is sort of a classic, uh, and the boys in the next room want to share it with you, just so you get a sense of who this guy is. And then we're going to hear directly from him. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Here he is. Yeah, he has a like, message we're for call Drew. Him? Come, no, he has a message directly for Drew. Wow. Um, yeah. So this is a guy that we've uh, we've been a real big fan of on your mom's house podcast for... I want to say close to a year or two. And they've made contact with him. Like, mm -hmm. they have him on the phone. This feels yeah, we very just recently Riverdale. made contact with him. Yeah, they made contact. Um, and so, uh, and so, yeah, so before we get into the new message, we figured, you know, you're new here. Let's, uh, let's run you through the classics that made this guy classic. Okay. Love the fuck and fuck good. Black guys who love the fuck and fuck good. <laughs> If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, if you want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. I need, I need to be fucked a lot, man. Get rid free food, free rent, and everything else, man. Here's a deal, man. So first impression? So, <laughs> oh, wow. so, so I spend a lot of my time like this whenever I'm watching their videos, and I can't help myself. I literally cannot help but take my hands over my face i mean free rent free food free lease and a key i mean that's a pretty good trade right totally this is what tom calls a cool dude this is a totally cool dude uh, i knew claire would like these guys but so, wait what did he edit this video himself you, um you or is got, this a mix of different things he said oh no, no no so uh yeah this is i mean there's a lot of dead air in these so in order to make it presentable it's a little mix they put so together. this is a bunch of his videos well, well it's, this it's is one, a compilation of his first video it's one video oh, okay. that they kind of tightened up oh i see i mm -hmm. see um so that's the first clip and uh you know he has more to say and they fell in love with him when they found this one yeah he's we had to edit out his number and address okay yeah. men from jail homeless or um you're a thug you want to come move in a friend can move to two man Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me. Piss on me. Beat me. I'm home now. You see me? You want to come over today and try it out? Try it out, man. If you're in my building, try it out. You want to fucking piss on me? Try it out. Seriously, so probably only us. Fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I mean it. I want to do it. And I want to deliver it. I'm a hot, white trash. Come, don't let's fuck. So try it out became a phrase uh, known throughout the land. And Claire. same with piss on me and beat me. That's that's how we say goodbye to each other here. Oh, piss me and beat me. I just like that he says you can have a lease and a key. Like this person <laughs> going to want a lease? Like is they really going to want their own lease? I think they're pretty much going to be month to month. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. So I'm glad you catch the vibe. Oh, is there more of him? Are you a hot, oh, are you a hot looking oh, a guy looking for a place to live? Too much. So uh, yeah, so that was, uh, so that video was from like, I want to say about two years ago. And this or so. is his Instagram site. Is that what this? Yeah, was? this is his Instagram page, and we found like, you know, people found his Instagram and you know sent it to us like, oh my gosh, like we found the original account that he's uploading to that he's still currently uploading to it's stuff like this. And so still, this is a still. video that's literally two years after the one you just saw, and this is the new updated message that so he's sending. Is this one people. coming to me? No, no, no. This Cause, one because I want this one. This one is still free content. Okay. Are you a hot black Latina guy looking for a place to live? Come at twenty three ninety five. You don't have to pay any rent. I'll give you a key, lease and a key, and you will be the boss of the house. And he goes from mild to wild to kink. So if you're a top and you're a black Latino or you are homeless ex con, come check it out. It's seven eight nine. I'll be waiting, and uh, you're the boss. So he has what we, what we call Claire a bad picker. I think he has a bad picker. He's got a bad, he likes uh, homeless criminals. Ex-cons. Ex-cons. He doesn't want con, present cons. No, ex-cons. So he, yeah. He's moved up he's that discerning. scale. He's discerning, yeah. Uh, here's his Easter message. Okay. Yeah, so um, so those first two are, are oh, about oh, two is that, years Is apart. that Easter message for me? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, my so God. So here's a little context. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, go ahead. What do you want to say? So, so the context is that, you know, uh, up until now, it's been a pretty private account, but now our fans have discovered it. So, you know, Drew analyzed him on uh, Dr. Drew After Dark uh, with Duncan Trussell, I believe. Oh. Um, and so people are telling him that they saw it and that, hey, you know, just letting you know, Dr. Drew is talking about you. So he responds to that. Okay. Oh. Now, I only remember saying this guy makes me sad. Okay. That's all I remember. Because I, every time I see this guy, he makes me feel bad. Yeah. Like, like I feel bad for him. Like he yeah. wants to get beaten up and shit yeah. on and pissed on and stuff. Now, I'm not making judgment of whatever he's into. God bless him. Yeah. Bless his heart. 
whatever he's into, I'm in, I'm, I'm fully in, let him do his thing. But it, it makes me sad to see a guy, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, you get, yeah. you get sad when you just hear about the rent on the lease. I know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's sad. <laughs> it's sad. I mean, but again, it's like so many people want things that they never ask for. Well, at least this guy asked for it. Yeah. He's saying what he wants. Claire, I like how your mind works. And he just lets that. It scares that me, but I like how your mind works. You know, he'll have no regrets unless he, the ex-con murders. Them. Well, yeah. Then there might be some regrets. So here we go. Yeah. So Drew, so this is a message for you. On Easter. Yeah. Dr. Drew, uh, what was Dr. Drew saying about me? Um, yeah, probably negative. Well, I've been scared by Dr. Drew. Because Dr. Drew to me is a fucking moron. I was never molested a kid. I'm not unhappy. I'm not the other two dogs. I got a brain, okay? Very intelligent. Very, very intelligent. I don't think Dr. Drew could compare to my brain. I don't think Dr. Drew could compare to the goddamn fucking chicken head. That's <laughs> a like Colonel Sanders. He reminds me of Colonel Sanders uh, with the uh, virus. Hey, Dr. Drew, you hear that? You remind me of a, a Colonel Sanders with a virus. Go, <coughs> please, Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew, talk about yourself. Don't look underneath. Look at me and, uh, Billy. Oh, uh, uh. There are some people like that in the world, you know? So, I mean, uh, so no, he's no, saying he's all, no, no, no. all healthy. Hang on. My life is complete. I can die now. Yeah, do you feel very seen? I, Colonel I feel, Sanders I feel, and a virus? I feel seen. I yeah. feel felt. Yeah. Uh, life is complete. Yeah. And on Easter of all days. Look at how he's dressed up yeah. for Easter, too. Yeah, he's, I mean, this is a moment. Claire, I'm glad you could share this with me. It's quite a, yeah, it's quite a sweet picture. With the ears. I mean, he goes live on Instagram about like 20 times a day. So if you want to, you know, pop in and say hi. and Oh, like right now? I mean, probably. Huh. Are we set up for that? No, oh, no. But you know what? But I'm sure we could interact with him if you want to in the future. Uh, I, oh, yeah. It, it's a, I, I, I want to hear how he does with Tom and Christina first. And how, how th that, that's going, that will have aired before this, I oh, suspect. Oh, really? Okay. Right, right? Yeah, correct. And uh, how was that interaction? Uh, you know, it was everything you could ask for. It was great. Oh, I kind of feel like I should be with them does, when I do it. Does he like interacting? Um, uh, mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. He does. He likes to talk to the people. Yeah. It, has he found his uh, male compatriot that will abuse him properly? Um, I think from our talk, uh, he said that people used to be way more down, and now it's much harder to find someone to piss on him and beat him. Is it because of his Instagram presence, or is it just... How the world turns. Uh, it could be his social media strategy. I mean, that could have something to do with it. You mean it's not not good? I mean, <laughs> you, you would think he'd have a, a wider... A, a line. Yeah. A line of guys. Well, yeah. he's about to blow up, though. I think he's about to get way too many, uh, way more offers than he can handle. So well, I mean, we'll I, see how he deals with I that. I will say that he seems far more... Softer is the only word I can think of when he's not doing the "Hey, come piss on me" guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he's doing the try it, the try it out guy is a little little rough around the edges. That's all I'm saying. No, yeah, he's a real sweetheart when you when you actually get to know him. Is that right? Uh, I think so, Josh. You're the one that talked to him. You said that he was he was really nice, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, he says really nice. Yeah, you can tell he's got a, a little soft little heart in there. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. Let me, are, are we done with uh, try it out? Sure. Okay. Uh, I do need to um, get one of those t-shirts though. I don't think I have one. Oh yeah. We'll get you yeah, a try it out t-shirt. Yeah. Cause I got to wear it in honor of what's his name? Robert? Uh, Robert Paul. Robert. Robert Paul. Robert Champagne. in full respect, man. Full respect. Full respect, Robert. Thank you for making my life complete. Uh, a couple of emails here. You ready? Okay. Okay. You good so far? Everything? Yeah, yeah, I everything? Feel very good. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I feel. I dragged you into this. No, I'm having some feelings about that man. But tell okay. me, what no, kind no, of feelings? I just, I don't know. I feel. Do I feel? Yeah, my heart. I don't it, know. It I makes just, your heart hurt, right? Makes me heart. I just. But you're wanna, smiling. Give him a snuggle, which I think is not what he wants. No, no, nor, <laughs> nor would I recommend it. I know. I know. I don't actually want to give him a snuggle. 
I do not want to snuggle. But yes, him. is that that's the kind of sad feeling I get? Like, no, oh, this poor guy. That's, that's how he's going to feel connected is through people pissing on him and yeah. rape raping him. It's like, oh. well, yeah, good luck. But as you you turned it all around for me, you, you you helped me see that you know not everyone gets to ask for exactly what they want. Yeah, and as long as you're not hurting anybody, I mean, go for it. If you want to be a urinal, be a urinal. You know, that's what I'll tell my kid. If you want to be a ballerina, you can do anything you want. I think Claire needs her own set of t-shirts. Um, if you want to be a urinal, be a urinal. Mm-hmm. I can see it now. Mm-hmm.